The first tip I'm gonna show you if you look to this clip, you're gonna see these 20 dreadnought struggling to hit that pillbox. You see so many rockets they use and they only be successful after like 14 to 15 shots. I'm gonna put the number on the screen so you see how many tries it needed to finish this target and with the next clip they're gonna target it very easily they only use like three shots and that's it you see this amount of ships doesn't change at all it's 20 ships from the first example and 20 ships in the second example so nothing changes the same defenses same everything same target the same range so why because they stick together if you keep your aircraft carrier your boomers your dreadnought together the problem that you run to especially in allies or soviet i'm not talking about yuri because yuri that's a whole different discussion this tip is focusing on allies and soviet with allies and soviet defenses what i mean by allies and soviet defenses i mean allies patriot and for soviet flag cannon that's what i mean and tanks tanks what i mean by this is ifv and flag truck the problem is with these anti-air defenses they are not accurate so this accuracy you can use it in your advantage by distracting these defenses as much as you possibly could so this make this rocket would escape from anti-air defenses you see in the first clip they use like a 13 or 14 shots until they destroy that pillbox because one rocket escape and destroy the pillbox and if these anti-air moves a lot because they are rockets coming from different direction there's a small delays happen from it from that rocket they attack that the first one they successful attack and the second next one so this small delay with time it can be very very effective if you spread your ships apart this small delays will gonna make the majority of this rocket will escape from anti-air defenses if you doesn't understand anything about what i'm saying focus on the anti-air defenses look how much distracted they are look how much they are very slow at targeting the rockets in the second clip you're gonna see it's one of the most fantastic thing that you can use it if you have especially these particular cases at the end of the game because you have no sea control you can use this into your advantage or his ships they are far away from yours and you want some sneaky attack it's amazing trick that few people know about it so use it in your gameplay and believe me you're gonna like it a lot and always always you're gonna do it i do it all the time and my enemy gonna stay frustrated and say how can you do it yeah it's a glitch and they didn't know about it use it to your advantage in this clip i'm gonna show you how can you stop drone from entering first inside ifv or you just want to block drone from not entering to any unit to miners to everything how can you do it especially in allies if you want to stop drone the classic way you just want to use your tanks run away from it and hope the tank who gonna kill it the problem is a lot of time the drone can enter inside your grizzly tank that is the problem so what are you gonna do in allies if you want to stop drone you need seal ifv or tanya ifv that's it if you put gi inside an ifv yes you can kill the drone by gi ifv you can do it it's not hard but you need more than one unit so if you just want to use just one ifv you want to use seal ifv or tanya ifv a lot of pro players they use seal because they only useful at the beginning of the game or they use tanya at the end of the game because tanya is multi-functional unit so drone is one of the most annoying thing about drone it's so fast and can do a lot of damage so that's why a lot of pro players they want to eliminate this annoying unit because believe me i see drone they do a lot of weird things a lot of cool things so that's why nobody wants it so they want to eliminate especially from the beginning of the game so now i put some links in the description so if you want to support your boy hit the links in the description and support your boy and this tip i'm going to show you how can you use boars to your advantage by killing the most important factories to your enemies such as the war factory the mcv and super weapons how can you achieve this 
The problem is that you're gonna run to pretty quickly if you want to attack any factory from your enemy, especially these important factories, what they're gonna do, he gonna sell it or he gonna move his MCV. So you eventually didn't use your Boris because the problem is when Boris try to laser focus on these factories, it gonna be turned from the normal color to red. So the enemy can see it very easily. But pros are much more advanced than the normal player. So what they gonna do, they gonna keep the player focused on that factory. They thought, oh my God, I'm gonna destroy this factory. So when the make get really close, when they shot their shot, they sell that factory and they waste the make bullets. So now they need for another make to come out and attack another factory. This will gonna delay the enemy attack so much and he's gonna use it for his advantage to find a solution to kill the Boris. So what are you gonna do? You try to be smarter than a lot of these pros. They're gonna use this trick a lot. So when you use your Boris, you're gonna see a lot of these important factories. There are some unimportant factories near to it all the time, like power, like repair facility, like barracks, like defenses, like anti-air, like pillbox, any, a lot of these unimportant factories. So what are you trying to do? You try to focus on these unimportant factories. You try to laser focus on it. So when the MiG get really close, you switch from these unimportant factories to the target factory that you wanted. And believe me, this trick is gonna not give any time for that person to react to and gonna destroy that factory very fast. I'm not pretty smooth at it, but a lot of players, they are very good and very smooth at it. You're gonna see like the Mega coming and attacking that particular factory. You need a lot of practice. This need a lot of practice. But if you know how to do it, and you know the perfect timing, it's one of the most OP trick that you can use it by Boris. It's very common in such a cases like oil in the center or any type of maps if the enemy close to you. Or you wanna attack the enemy with a huge chunk of tanks and your Boris with you to destroy him slowly. This trick is used a lot and believe me, use it all the time if you want to destroy important factories like you're gonna see it in the video. It's fantastic, I like it a lot and use it all the time. In this step, I'm gonna show you how can you kill the mastermind that captured your tank or any tanks or any unit. What are you gonna do? For example, if there's a mastermind you wanna kill or it's coming in your direction of your units, what are you gonna do is point on that mastermind, that particular one, and left click on it over and over and over and over. You see, I left click a lot on that mastermind and you're gonna see my tank move pretty slowly. So when the mastermind might control your tank, what's happening is there's a glitch that happened when you're gonna do a lot of left click on your mouse. The tank gonna keep attack the mastermind that you already clicked on. So gonna keep attacking it, keep attacking it, keep attacking it until it destroys it. It's a glitch, very common glitch. It's only used with Mastermind. I don't know why this glitch is still on Riddler 2, but hey, you can use it. It's very effective, especially with one to two Mastermind, not that many of Mastermind. So use this trick. It's very OP. I see a lot of time, a lot of pro players, they freed up their elite tanks or their elite unit from mind control of the mastermind and believe me it, it does work but you must be smart how to use it and when you use it but some people they say how can the mastermind sometimes can capture your unit forever and not return it back by clicking on that unit and hit s on the keyboard we're gonna stop attacking the mastermind or click on that tank and control it to another way or point to another thing so that time we're gonna stop attacking the mastermind 